No, it was unbelievable because I'm driving north out of uh, Salt Lake City. Hi. Boy, well, that must have been day. right at the time yeah. I was looking at the Weather Channel. It was going, hey, alert, severe thunderstorm. There was another Good. nerd on the radio uh, who was is addicted to Doppler radar, as I am, and was describing exactly what was happening to me in real time. With a sense of increasing excitement as you went, I'm going to die. And then I suddenly realized, windshield wipers are a good investment. Did we mention, welcome to the Todd and Aaron Daily I think Street? I did. I snuck okay. it under. Um, and we were talking about yesterday's ferocious thunderstorm. And if you were part of it, we're really sorry. Farmington area north of Salt Lake City uh, just got, sh trees got shredded. Uh, my friend showed me the dents and dings on his truck that he got from hail. Man, that's a bummer. The question I have is, yes. if ping pong and golf were never in invented, mm -hmm. how would you refer to the size of hail? Medium size rock. Small plum. Yeah, you don't really, yeah, yeah, there's not like any really definitive thing, is there? All right, it's like a pool ball, but a third of that. That doesn't sound really So anyway, inspiring. for those people who survived and the animals who got ouched and all that stuff, sorry about that. All right, um, do you want to explain no, this to No, I don't want you to bring, okay. No, no, it, to your credit, when we were moving from the house that we'd been in for a bazillion years, there was a gigantic armoire in Zoe's room. Now, let me say this before you go any farther. We bought it. Four of us took it, and there's that, you know, you walk in the entry, and there's that landing up on the second story with a railing, and four of us passed it up to each other, and then tipped it, and then turned it sideways, slipping it through his door, her door uh, to her bedroom, oh, so nicely. But it was the last thing out of the house. I was the only one It was there. like midnight, and you had a saw. And I think, well, I, 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 first do not, of, I First off, I had a this. problem, is I couldn't figure out how to get it out the door on its side on the railing to catch it below because it wasn't going to happen and then i found my saw necessity is the mother of invention i do not blame you for sawing her in one and half but the funny part comes when finally we pull well, it out of the garage and we, hey we could put that back in zoe's room and then todd goes through a fabulous process of how one restores said armoire i think you'll enjoy this hey, what are you what are you doing What's that? None of your business. Didn't you, uh, didn't you just um? Shush. Didn't you just glue the armoire Don't go there. Gather again. Stop it. So we could carry it Don't. in the house and. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't fit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> you the woman I share my bed with? <laughs> not anymore. You're not. <laughs> I'm looking for applicants. Sorry, right, it's leaving the armoire. Shush, 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 okay. You can't say the A word anymore. Okay. It is the only saw I can find. That's, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> wow, that gorilla glue really held. Yeah, yeah. What? Really? I just. You're gonna coming. do this now? I was coming and you did really? a really good job with the. um. Yeah. Keep it up, girl. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> There's one. Mm-hmm. Man, this poor we, thing. You know what we have to do. It was so pretty. What do we have to do, baby? We have to go hide because the neighbor's coming and she's the one who told me to put it together in the bedroom. <laughs> it's, that, it's that quick. Go. Go, go. Shh. Turn the lights off. Okay. Shh. Shh. She's out there. Okay. Uh, remember right. that our neighbor who told us... Are we going to keep talking about it? No, stop it. Good God. So here we are in the driveway and Todd is showing me the beauty of Gorilla Glue and how nicely and how tightly it bonds the armoire back together. It doesn't have to be pretty, it's on the inside. Mm -hmm. And our neighbor walks by who's like, you know, really smart and she's like a surgeon yeah. and stuff. And anyway, she said, um, oh. oh, you've glued that together. And he goes, yeah, furring strips. And he was showing, she goes, she looked at the gigantic armoire and looked at our entry. And she said, why didn't you just wait till you got it into Zoe's little room and then you know, glue it back together there.
I said, oh, pasha, little PhD woman. With your run, a, run along skills. And go, to go surgery something. So she walked her dog further on down the street and then Todd measured the armoire and he measured our front door and realized we couldn't yeah, even get just, it into the, let's get, just the get front it, door, much get less. Get it over with. Zoe's room. <clears throat> All right, this is the armoire that is in question. As you can tell, it's kind of tall. Uh, what I basically did is we put it in our other house in, in Zoe's uh, bedroom and we couldn't get it out. So what I did is, you can probably see I cut it all the way around. All the way around. And then I put it back together at our new place. And it did it really simply because no one's going to see it. So I just glued some furring strips in on all four corners and that was great so now it is once again an amour the todd and aaron daily stream is brought to you by pc laptops with desktops and laptops starting as low as 7.99 with a lifetime parts and service warranty they fix phones too go to pclaptops.com and by brio technologies they rent sell and install audio visual components including professional sound lighting video and intercom systems components projectors interactive whiteboards and classroom audio systems just go to brioaudiovisual.com this is just one of the saddest things i can think of is the An fact entire that, lake wants to kill you? No, the fact that there are there are um, driveways everywhere clogged with boats that have sat there the entire winter season. Now it is the time to get out and conquer the waves and you know buy that extra battery because you didn't charge yours during the and and then and redo the fuel system because you didn't replace the and and all that stuff. And you go out and now the clo one of the closest places to go uh, is Utah Lake. And Friendly you, little marina, very pleasant. They mm -hmm. just closed another uh, marina. I think for after this is the, the lake that wants to kill you, Linden. essentially. Linden is now, uh, has the harmful algae bloom, and it's called, um, if you would please, Cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria. Yeah. Uh, the Cyanobacteria cell concentrations of yeah. 24 million cells per milliliter, right. which, which basically means like it's going to kill you. It's, all right, so you're it's thinking, toxic to children and pets and fish. First of all, you. the lake's always been green. Number one. This is super green. Number two. Like what creepy could, neon green. What and, could it do for all oh, foaming? That's a bad sign too. The water is um, chunky. They've they've closed a bunch of the different beaches. Um, here is the effect of this like. Pisha yeah. thing. Let's see. Um, yeah, uh, experience stomach pains, vomiting, diarrhea, skin rash. May express a nerve and uh, liver damage. Long term exposure to the toxin. Okay. This seems really bad. Close for your pets, too, by the way. And I'm guessing the fish aren't doing so great with that either, right? But they say boating is still open, so you go for it. Uncle Fred is good at not falling water skiing, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, just make sure you don't drop. We're going to be doing a dock oh, start. We're not even stopping. Hey, for honey, you. I just caught a big catfish. What do you say we cook that sucker up for dinner no. tonight? No. So you tell like, that's so sad. It's, the part, it's partially the heat. It's happened a couple of different times during the last couple of years. Yeah, it really has. And they're getting a little frustrated. They're like, we're not sure we can keep this clean enough for anyone to use it. I don't think really. they're really doing anything about it. There's not much they can do, it's I guess, at this point. kind of watching the lake at this point. Oh, right. while we're down in Utah County, though, this is kind of good news. Um, Alpine School District, they are, like, in desperate need of bus drivers. Get out! Desperate need of bus drivers to the point where they just raised all the wages and they're offering a $1,000 bonus if you sign on. To where? To where? To where? No, this, it's Alpine where? School District. Because right now it's terrible. They're short so many drivers that all the bus drivers are having to double up all their routes. So kids right. are getting to school, like, an hour after it starts. And it's nobody's fault. The poor bus drivers are like working ridiculously long hours. They only hours. can drive so fast. Yeah, there's only so much they can do. But it's interesting. So I guess they're they're actually fronting the cost of licensing new people, paying for your training. Right. I mean, they're that aggressive. Like we really need some help. So if you're interested, just go to the Alpine School District website, and you can see an application. Eighteen thirty an hour. That's pretty good. See ya. <laughs> okay, I'm back. You know I can't. Really? You would have the patience for children? I, of course I do. Look at me. Oh, no. I have a patience you the, for you. You were the child whisperer. For good, Kurt. But you're forgetting that this is like 50 ill-tempered middle school Yeah, children. but I always, in the back of my mind, I already know that I'm dropping them off. So I'm okay. I only have to be patient for an hour. Now, while we're talking about kids, this is the funniest thing I think I have heard all month. Now, I don't, I don't think know it's if you... funny. Well, here's the deal. I don't know if you've heard about this, but... 
like for instance, the University of Utah actually has an e-games department in their athletic department. And an e-gamer is, is essentially, you're getting a degree, you're playing athletics in gaming. Don't tell That's me. That's what you're doing. Don't tell me the and, letterman jacket thing because that will hurt you. And they're taunting, they're taunting people with all this money. And gamers are making a boatload of money. For instance, in Fortnite. Now, where, a, where is, that's local, first of all. Yeah, it was designed by a Utah designer. But uh, the Fortnite game makers actually put up a $100 million prize pot. $100 million. Now, if you think, wow, they're overly generous. Games make movies look like crap. A big game opens and it usually hits a billion within like a week or two. A billion. So this is definitely an industry that can afford to put up big money. And so parents are like the point where they used to be like with the NFL or the NBA where like, my kid's going to grow up and play professional basketball. Screw that. You're shoving the kid back down in the, the basement. And you're like, go get back on the screen. On screen, go. So your biggest worry is carpal tunnel. Really, at this point, yeah. It's not like hams, hammy or anything like that. But this is, this totally cracks me up because this goes beyond that. Well, parents have now started hiring tutors for their kids. For? To play Fortnite. They're, teach, they're tutoring how to play Fortnite better? Up to like 50 bucks an hour. This one mom, this is hysterical, this one mom says... She goes, you don't understand. There's pressure not to just play it, but to be really good at it. You can imagine what it's like for my 14-year-old at school. This is like a peer thing now. Like you will be ridiculed if you don't know how to play Fortnite. When I was a kid, if I could hit you in the head with a rock, I was the champion. That's the way it was. I'm sorry. I think this is such crap. It's like you get coaches for swimming. Coach, right? Good. Zoe has a swimming No coach. drowning. That's a great thing. Gymnastics uh, coaches, singing coaches, golf coaches. People are throwing money everywhere. This is a couch coach. That's what this is. It's a coach this is like my dream that sits job. on a couch. His fingers are stained with uh, Doritos, Doritos. <laughs> and, or, or Cheetos. Uh, and that's what he does. $50 50 an bucks hour. an hour and nacho cheese. I don't see how you can beat this. I don't think, I think that a lot of ways. I'm in, the long, I'm in the wrong line at work. This is where you go, well, when I was a kid, I would have beat you up. No, Sorry. no, I, I really just want this kind of work now. Okay, I think it's crazy. Coming up, you know, you have to admire people with that spunky can-do attitude. Like you fail one time, you get back on the saddle and you try again. And there's one Utah guy who's kind of like this, but not. He won't give up. We'll explain coming up next. The Todd and Aaron Daily Stream is brought to you by PC Laptops with desktops and laptops starting as low as $7.99 with a lifetime parts and service warranty. They fix phones too. Go to PCLaptops.com. And by Brio Technologies. They rent, sell, and install audiovisual components including professional sound, lighting, video, and intercom systems, components, projectors, interactive whiteboards, and classroom audio systems. Just go to BrioAudioVisual.com. All right, it's time for Tell Me Something Good. By the way, if you have not been to our new Facebook page, Tell Me Something Good, um, first of all, we are giving away a $100 gift card because that would always be good news to That's me. nice to hear. And number two, we update it every day with really uplifting, inspiring stuff. So like if you're having a crap day, it's the perfect place to go to go, there is good in the world, I feel better. Or you can share your story there. How's yes, that? please. Every time you find something wonderful, we'd love to have you share it. Or so your story it personally. Everyone. That would be even better. Yes. So Tell Me Something Good is brought to you by PC Laptops. You know PC Laptops. For $7.99, they can build you a lovely little desktop or laptop. Now, even one that starts at the bottom is still with a lifetime guarantee for service and parts. That's right. And they, and they go up till you can make quantum physics and things disappear. So go Pretty to much, PC yeah. Laptops. They yeah. helped us out a lot. Now, this, in, just in time for school, is amazing to me. As you can assume, Kentucky is probably not the most lucrative division of school districts ever. I don't this know is, that, but go ahead. Kentucky financially does not have a lot of money for their school. Okay. It tends to be one of the lower in the nation. Okay. She's kind of like us. Um, but one woman did something absolutely amazing. Apparently she had just received an inheritance from her mother. Her mother had passed away and she was thinking about what she wanted to do. Right. When all the teachers of Pendleton County School showed up for the opening day of school this year, Every, the woman had given every single one of them a $100 cash donation. She said, I don't want you spending your own money on supplies. Right, okay. And she said, here's 100 bucks. I know it's not a ton. It's a good start. But I think it's amazing. She said, I wanted to do something to show teachers there's people out there that have their back and right. support them in what they do every day, and they recognize how much you give up, so much more than you were actually compensated. And right. this goes for every teacher my kids have had. And this is one of the reasons we're like, what, what, what supplies do you need? I can do this for you because... 
It is. They, yeah. they, they give up so much, but and there are some, I love this woman. And there are some stores, and, and this is known, that if you go in and say, listen, I'm a teacher, and I'm buying all this stuff for my classes and stuff, they might let you slide a little bit on the amount. They do. do a lot of them do offer discounts. Yeah, Office yeah. Depot does. Or Staples. just out of their hearts. Just say, look at this. Because sc- 100 bucks is not going to cover... But it was all that she had from her inheritance, and she wanted to be. No, just no, no! Food. It's a great donation. I'm just saying, a hundred dollars per per per. Just the They need yeah. more. And know? of course, this lovely woman has insisted on being anonymous, so we can't even thank her. Well, so. we just did. Thank you. Okay. You're beautiful. So talk talk to me about stick to activity. I've been waiting for this one. Now, ordinarily, it's a good thing, like when you fail spectacularly and you get back up and you try it again, right? Yeah, I've done that a couple, yeah. Uh, three yeah, or four hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah, this you is know, an orum, by the way. This is the kind of thing that your mom and dad, like, go, you little spunky guy. Stick to it. Mm-hmm. So, a uh, Maxwell Richard Flaguer, 18, mm-hmm. only 18 years old. So, he's starting early in his entrepreneurial spirit. That's right. Was arrested, arrested. Monday. Arrested. After pawning twelve thousand dollars worth of camera equipment that he had rented from an Orem business, and then sold it to the pawn shop for oh. only twenty four hundred. Okay, stop. Okay, stop, dude, stop, that's stop, bad wait, wait. math number one. No, no, not not for the pawn shop. It's not. So he goes and he rents the equipment, mm-hmm. then he goes to a pawn shop and he sells it. Mm-hmm. Apparently, it's a perfect scheme. Okay, so apparently Maxwell had told the business, "Well, I lost the camera equipment because my friend dropped it from a steep." Park City hiking trail. So far, so good. So they're thinking, oh, we'll claim it on the insurance. So he's thinking, hey, victimless crime. Well, the Orem... Wait, they, they bought that? Apparently so. Okay. Well, here's the fun part. Um, he was just arrested again Monday with the exact same crime 12 days after making bail. He's a go-getter. An Orm detective discovered that Maxwell had been charged in July for that first crime. Right. And uh, that one was, the next one was $11,000 worth of camera equipment. Well, while they were investigating the second case and he's, you know, being booked into jail, they found out that literally the day before he'd been arrested, he had right. entered a third camera third. rental shop yeah. and attempted to rent equipment from that business as well. There Apparently, employees were smarter and they went, there's something squirrely about this guy, so they right. refused to do it. But, you know, you gotta, you know, the kid... Gets arrested one time. You gotta love Gets it. bailed out. You gotta. Goes right back in jail. It's just, it's just, <laughs> he just wants three square meals a day. That's all he wants. He's 18, man. I just, I'm thinking you're starting out in the business world and I'm proud of you, but. I just love to see the photos that were on the camera. That's just me. I just really want to see what he used the cameras for. Anyway. Oh, like you're going to get creeped out now. Uh, you it's guys a have a great late. day. It's the Todd and Aaron Daily Street. Don't forget to like and share the show. It interests you to win the dinner for four at Christopher's Prime <laughs> Steakhouse that will be giving away on Friday. There's a picture of my cat. <laughs> what, were you th- point. what were you thinking? You know, like his woodworking projects. Oh, that's where I was going to. You go, little fella. See you later. Hope you get bailed out again because I want to see what you go for next.